ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट टूगेदर वी कॉल इट एज फिनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम डे वी ब्रॉट एंड वी आर एंटरिंग हियर फॉर द ईयर एंडिंग थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन सेम फॉर्म एट वी हैव यूज सेम कैलकुलेशन फ्रॉम द हायर वैल्यू वी डिडक्टेड द लोअर वैल्यू Hello everyone I am your other sir lecturing with your Ashram PU college the temple of excellence so we are in the session 6 of your topic called financial statement 1 yes so we already completed all your concepts like your trading account what is financial statement problems on trading account as well as problems on profit and loss account Trading and profit and loss account together we call it as financial statement or as income statement. In your financial statement we have two things: income statement as well as balance sheet. So we completed with income statement. What is income statement? Trading account and P and L account we call it as income statement. Now, so we have done individually trading account and we have done individually profit and loss account. in your examination six mark problem individual only they will ask prepare trading account prepare profit and loss account then again 12 marks one more question you will get that will be prepare trading and profit and loss as well as balance sheet all three together you have to do that is your 12 marks six marks also same thing again together again it will come for 12 marks now Today we will work out trading and P and L together. Simple, just in ten minutes we can complete that. Prepare trading and profit and loss account. We used to do only trading. We used to do only P and L. But today we will do both. Now, for the year ending thirty first March two thousand seventeen, these are the informations they have given. With the help of this information. will do trading as well as p and l you know the format of trading and you know the format of p and l account also so first we'll go with trading then we'll come for profit and loss account so in this which are the accounts which comes under trading just we'll identify purchases comes under trading first we'll take only trading account trading account debit side wages trading account debit side sundry expenses we don't want why because this is p and l now rent and taxes p and l carriage inward trading account debit side interest received p and l opening stock trading account debit side sales trading account credit side discount allowed it is a p and l salary also pnl you know the format of trading remember the trading account the rest of the things comes under pnl now closing stock as you know it comes under credit whatever i mention those things only will consider for trading now first one opening stock so heading must be trading account of what is the name so name is not given so we can leave it as blank of xyz for the year ended for the year ended so now you have to mention amount in rupees amount in rupees this must be credit and this must be debit these are common in every problem now what is the first one two opening stock two purchases two direct expenses these are your debit side what will come under credit side yes by sales by closing stock these things comes under your 
triglyceride. Yeah, diabetes also over, triglyceride also over. Now, just we fill with the numbers. Now, what is your opening stock? Opening stock is 6,000. Opening stock is 6,000. Now, what is your purchases? 58,500. 58,500. So next, what is your sales? It is around one lakh twenty. Now your sales we consider one lakh twenty thousand. What is your closing stock? Yes, your closing stock is fifteen thousand. Now, so most of the things we completed will go for the direct expenses. In this direct expenses, we have wages, we have carriage inward, then yes, we have only two, wages and carriage inward. Wages, 15,000, carriage inward is only 450. So in this, wages, 15,000, carriage inward is only 450. So we done with your trading account. Now what is the next step? You have to see which side is more. Yes, usually your credit side is more. Why? Because here only in thousands, but we have in lakh. Yes, one lakh twenty plus fifteen. How much? One lakh thirty five thousand. You have one lakh thirty five thousand. Similarly, one lakh thirty. 5,000. Now, whichever is higher value, we should be consider what? Both the sides. We have taken both the sides. Now, 1,35,000. From this, you have to minus these things. How much you will get? Yes. 58 plus 6, 64. You can use your calculator and calculate this. 58 plus 6, 64,000. Plus 15, 79,000. 79,950 minus 1,35,000. From the total, I am deducting this one. What answer you got? 35 plus it is around 20,050. Yeah, 55,050. This we call it as gross profit any doubt up to this no why because same format we have used same calculation from the higher value we deducted the lower value you got gross profit in case your yeah, this side is more this side is less it will be gross loss now we have one step is over what is the next step yes profit and loss account remember this gross profit we have to carry. Why? Because as I told you, your sales is 10, manufacturing expense is 3. What is your profit? 7. From this, what we should minus? If you want to get PL, you have to minus your running expenses. Like this. So, whatever profit we got, we call it as gross profit. To find out net profit, we should use this profit also. So, this is nothing but your total and this is also your total. Clear? Yes. Remember, what is your gross profit? 55,050. Now, in this, by gross profit brought down. B means from there we brought and we are entering here. How much always opposite side? Now, how much it is? 55,050. If it is loss, you should write it here. It is a profit so that we carry it here. This is a continuation of your trading account. But it is named as profit and loss account. Profit and loss account. Same thing. Debit as well as credit. This is in rupees, this is also in rupees. Now, 
as I told you in the previous sessions, all the expenditures this side, all the incomes this side. Simple. All expenses debit, all incomes are credit. Now, sundry expenses. Sundry expenses means general expenses, small, small expenses. So, we call it as sundry expenses. How much? 600. Two. Sundry. Don't call it as sundry. It is not sundry. It is sundry expenses. So, it is how much? 600. Now, rent and taxes, 1350. Rent and taxes, 1350. So, this is done. Interest received. Received means income or expenditure. Yes, it is income. How much you have? 4500. Four thousand five hundred. Now, interest also over discount allowed. You are given discount means it is an expenditure for you. How much? Three thousand. And next one is salary is two thousand. So hope you have taken everything. Discount is three. Salary is two. Two. Discount three thousand. To salary 2000. Now, most of the things we have completed here. Again, same logic you can use. Which side is more? Yes, your credit side is more. 55 plus 4, 59,550. As I told you, higher value should be what? Both the sides. Yes, 59,500. 50. Now, so what are these? These are we call it as total as well as total. Now, the balance will be what? Net profit. The balance is what? Net profit. How to calculate? Yes. 59,550 minus 2. Plus 3, 5,000, 6,950. You have to minus 6,950. Now, 59,550 minus 6,950. What is the answer? You will get 52,600. That is your net profit. Hope you understood how to do trading account as well as PNL account. One thing you have to remember, whatever trading account final answer you will get, if it is a gross profit, it will come credit side. If it is a gross loss, it will come under debit side. Now, the total if you do, you will get 59,550. 52, 54, 57, 58, 59, yeah, 50. It is proper. Now, this is all about your today's session. Now. So we are done with your trading account as well as PNL account in a single problem. So you understood what is trading and what is PNL. What is gross profit as well as what is net profit. We end this session with a saying that learn concept and earn marks.